Good morning. My name is Shane Young with Bold Zebras, those guys. And today we're going to talk about installing the August 2016 Q1 update for SharePoint Server 2013. Um, in this video, we're going to look at a script for making it run a little faster, talk about how to find what cumulative update you may or may not have, and just some other kind of guidance along the way. Cool? All right, well then let's jump in. So here you can see we're on our SharePoint server. So this is the same SharePoint server that I built in the multi-part series that's linked over there now. And then also I went ahead and this one has got the July 2016 CU, which I did in the last video, linked to right there as well. So in this one we're going to talk about the August 2016 update. So the first thing we want to do is look at how or what uh, updates you might already have on your server so you can kind of make sure you know where you're at. So if you go to Upgrade Migration, and then here you can do Check Product and Patch Installation Status. This page is going to show you all of the updates that have been installed on your server to this point. So you can see that I have uh, Service Pack 1, right? And so that is 4571. And then I have 4833 and then 4841. Now, those numbers aren't very helpful, right? This is clearly Service Pack 1. But what these two updates are, not easy to figure out. So what we want to do is we want to navigate over here to uh, Todd Quint's blog. And on his homepage, he has a navigation SharePoint 2013 built. So if you click that link, you'll be brought to this page. And if you scroll down, what you're going to see is that he has every build number since RTM um, and then how you get that build number. So if we look, we'll start, let's find the service pack one. Okay, so we have service pack one, 4571. And if we look over here, right, 4571, so we're good there. And then we had 4833. So scroll down a little bit. And so 4833 was a June 2016 CU. And so I actually installed that at, um, as part of building the farm. And the reason for that was it was one of the QM updates that had support for SQL uh, 2014 built into it. I wanted to use SQL 2014. SQL 2014 support, it actually came out with April 2014 CU. But this June one seemed like the right uh, CU for me at that time. So this is what I used to build the farm. Switch back over here. And then we also have 4841. And 4841 is right here. That's the July CU. So that's what I installed in the last video. So now you know where our farm is and how it got to that build. Now, when it comes to cumulative updates, you shouldn't just install cumulative updates because they're available. Right? The cumulative updates, the key to them is to say, I have this issue and I need to fix it and this cumulative update right here fixes it and that's how you determine which cumulative update you want to install. So this video I'm going to install the August 2016 CU not because it has any features or functionalities I need but because I figured I want to make the video available for you guys if you needed the uh, update. Also it's worth noting that I've installed June, July, and August. They're cumulative. I don't have to do that. right? So I could have been way back on Service Pack 1 and then jumped straight to August. Or I could have installed Service Pack 1 and then March of 2015 and then August of 2016. All right, there's no issue there. The only key is that these uh, CUs now, they all require to be at Service Pack 1, so you want to make sure that you have Service Pack 1. But from there, then you can sort through the list of CUs and figure out what helps you the most. Um, June 2016 CU seems to kind of be a standard baseline at this point, and that's because it adds things like the... Um, hybrid search with Office 365 and a lot of those functionalities. Um, so anyway, figure out what CU you want before you go forward. So for the August 2016 CU, if I was trying to figure out if I wanted it, what I would do is a couple things. First, I would look over here at bugs, notes, and regressions. So this is stuff that Todd keeps track of, any updates that he knows about this uh, patch. You can see it was released on August 9th, so it was only a couple weeks ago. And quite frankly, he has nothing here. So that means he doesn't know of any issues, he doesn't know of any things that were fixed. Really this um, CU has been pretty much a non-event so far, which is probably a good sign for you, but uh, at the same time, what are you getting out of it? The easiest way to figure out what you're getting out of it, I'm actually going to go back a page, is right here, so SharePoint Server, you can see there's a KB, so KB311.5450. 
And so I always recommend you give these a browse because these are going to talk about what's in the uh, hotfix and whether or not you need um, what updates. So you can see, for example, that this hotfix is multilingual. So that means that no matter what language pack you're running, all the updates are in here, which has made this package bigger. Yay. Uh, the update has prerequisites. If we scroll down to those, you'll see that it just reminds you you have to have service pack one. And then also in here, you can see that here are the list of um, the different things that were updated with this one. So it looks like Augusty, you didn't really have a lot going on. It has some foundation stuff, uh, but nothing too exciting. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to download this. So download the cumulative update. Let me brought over here to this screen. We're going to say download. And so there's three files here. This is a mistake I've made in the past, so don't make it. You need all three of these. And the reason it's broken up into three files is behind the scenes this stuff is stored on SQL Server and SQL Server has a 2 gig file limit and you're pretty smart at math I'm guessing 1.4, 1.4 and 300 equals like 3.1 which is way bigger than 2 gigs. So they broke it up into two large files and then one little file here. So you're going to need to download all of these guys. Oh look 3.1's right here. See I didn't really do the math. Alright so we'll hit next and oh, Internet Explorer blocked a pop-up, so I'm going to say allow once. And so we should get three files to download. Now, if you have a problem where the download link doesn't show up for you, or it says uh, di downloads are disabled, which happens a lot, you can go to Settings over here, Internet Options, Security, Custom Level. And if you scroll down a little bit, right here, Downloads, File, Download, you need to set this to Enable. By default, that's set to Disabled, so I've actually updated that on this machine. Or you could move this particular site into a trusted site's uh, location. Or, more, more correct, we'd probably be download these updates from your local PC and then copy them over to the SharePoint server. However you get here, it's all good. All right, so I'm going to cancel all that. All right, so it says save. I'm going to hit the save as button here. And so what I like to do is I actually want to save these in a folder. So I do C, install, and in this case it's the July or the August 2016 CU. So I'm going to hit install. I'm going to right click here and say new folder and I'm going to go August 2016 CU enter all right and save it here and so that's important for you to keep in mind because uh, the file names don't change for those uh, add-on files so if you installed this in the same folder as the June CU you'd have conflicts there and you wouldn't want any of that confusion all right so we'll do the same thing for this one save as yeah, August 2016, good, save. And one more. Save as, and save. And if we do view downloads here, you'll see that the little guys are already downloaded. These guys need a couple minutes. So while they uh, download, what I want to do is I want to talk about something else that's happening. Um, so we'll let that happen and we'll, go, we'll move on to the next task. So in the last video, the July 2016 CU, um, I kind of hid it from the video, but it, it took my machine probably two hours to install that CU on a very fast machine that didn't have a lot of content. And so I started looking into why that was, and it turns out that these cumulative updates, the way they run, they just they have some conflicts. SharePoint, the search, and other uh, jobs fight them the whole way, and so they just they don't run very efficiently. So after doing a little work, I found out that this uh, kind gentleman named Russ Maxwell, uh, he's a Microsofty, he has a PowerShell script that's going to shut down all the pieces of our farm that we need to have shut down, uh, and then run the update, and then start them all back up uh, going forward. So it's kind of highly recommended for me. I, I actually haven't used it yet, so this will be my first time as well. But what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down into his, and he talks you through everything that happens. So we're not going to mess with that right now. I'd recommend you guys read it, but I'm not going to read the pages to you because you don't want to listen to me read. Um, and so what I'm going to do is he's like, hey, here's the script, so start copying. So I'm going to grab a script. So we'll start right here. Might, might as well take all his credit stuff with him. And we'll scroll down. Okay, so the script ends at write host script complete. So then I'm going to copy. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover down here in my little corner, say start. And we're going to type in Notepad. All right, so I'm going to paste this. Make sure it's all in there, right? So it stops at script complete. Good, and it should start with all the mumbo jumbo about who he is. Hey, if you need a partner to help with it, like he recommends, happy to help. Bold zebras, yay! 
Uh, so then we're going to say file and save as. And then I'm going to navigate to my C folder, install, and then August 2016 C because it needs to be in the um, same folder as these guys because it'll automatically uh, find all the pieces and run. So, and then we'll just uh, save it as cu installer.psps1, right? So that would allow us to run it directly from PowerShell. So we're going to say save. All right, so the script's in there. So thanks, Russ. Hopefully this works out well and doesn't blow up my video. If it does, I'll delete the video and you'll never know. All right, and so our downloads, let's see. I believe they're all done. Let's see, view downloads. Hey, look at that. I stalled just enough. Didn't even stall that time, really. Just uh, worked through it. So those are down. So we'll close out of this. Um, we don't need this anymore. We don't need this anymore. Oh, also, I will put the link for Russ's blog and for uh, Todd's blog both down in the comments because I realize that they're really hard to type just from what you see here on the screen. I would make them little pop-ups you could click, but YouTube doesn't let me do that. I know I link to my own stuff, so you'll have to go down there and get them yourself. Sorry for that. All right, so central admin's good, so let's close out of this. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start the old management shell. Actually, we don't technically need the SharePoint management shell, but out of habit, I use this one. So SharePoint 2013 management shell, you have to run it as administrator. So yes. All right. So then we're going to navigate over to uh, the install folder. Oh, it also reminds me to tell you guys, I am logged in as the install account. So we talked about in the install video what that account is, but essentially that account is the one that is local administrator and it was the one I used to install all the SharePoint bits and configure everything. So the install account is who I use, SP underscore install is what I use for all of this type of activity. All right, so install and then CD to the August 2016 CDU, CU, do a DIR. Okay, so all those pieces are in there. Good, good, good. So we'll do a CLS. And then now we're going to hit um, that, right? So that should run the CU installer PS1 for us. So we'll hit enter. All right, so it's asking, do I want to pause the search service application or uh, leave search running? You want to pause search. So we're definitely going to hit one because search is probably the biggest, uh, was, you know, it's the biggest hog in your SharePoint farm. It's also the biggest contender for resources when this update runs. So we'll hit enter. Pausing the search service application, it's warning us this might take a minute or two, so I'll just go ahead and hit pause while that runs. Okay, so that took about four minutes to get all of these services stopped. So you can see it paused search, and it stopped search, and it shut down IIS, and then it stopped everything else. And so then once it did that, it automatically opened up this window for me to say, hey, I accept. So click continue. And so now these updates are going to start, uh, well, it's got to compile those three files into one, right, and then start working through. So it's going to take a little bit of time, um, so I'm going to hit pause, and I'll see you guys when it finishes. And thanks to the magic of pause, those 11 minutes went by in a second for you. So you can see it came up. It says, hey, I need a reboot to do this. But because we want the script to go back and undo all the work it's done, we're actually going to say no. And so then now the script will go through and restart all the pieces, because some of the task or um, process services, that's the word I'm looking for, get set to... Uh, disabled so that way SharePoint doesn't automatically restart them when the patching is happening either. Um, so we need to let all that get undone. So we're going to hit pause while that finishes and then we'll come back to say that's done and then we'll reboot. We'll pause again. Blah 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 blah. Almost done. See ya. Okay and that took about three minutes to complete so we're good there. So now we can close out and you can see overall it's telling us from start to finish um, looks like about 12 minutes there to uh, do everything. So Good deal, so we'll close out of this. And then now I will go over here, because this is where the charms are, and say settings, power, and then restart my VM. Continue, and while that restarts, I'll hit pause again. We'll come back and finish things up in just a minute. All right, so rebooted, I logged in, open up central admin, and we're back. And so what all I want to do real quick is I want to check my product and patch installation status. And we just want to see that, all right, we still got all these. And now we're at build 4849 is installed. Good stuff. You can also hit back here. And so if we go here to review database status, we're going to see that our databases are still in compatibility range. 
Why is that? Because we haven't applied the update, right? Uh, we, uh, oh, sorry, we applied the update, we did the bits and the bytes, we rebooted, got all that synced in, but now we need to run configuration wizard to get the farm to uh, update all these databases. So we're gonna hit our little start button again and run the config wizard, say yes. We'll go ahead and close this page while we're waiting. Now we'll close server manager. And now the configuration wizard opens up, we're gonna say next. Yes, so it's gonna shut things down while it runs, that's okay. Because right, you're either doing this way in the middle of the night or it's a play farm. And so completing, yep. And so now this is going to take off and go and update all of the SharePoint databases and all that fun stuff. So this is going to run for a little bit of time as well. So while it runs, I'll hit pause. All right, and that finishes that up. So we'll hit finish. It took probably five or six minutes to run on my machine. Remember, that step's going to vary depending on how much content you have in your farm. Um, so really not a function of you know bits and bytes as much as just pure data it has to chug through so okay so central admin is open so we'll go back to upgrade migration and review database status yay no action required our farm is fully updated to uh, the August 2016 CU so that's going to do it for this video um, as always if you like what you see here definitely subscribe to the channel so you get more of the SharePoint and Azure videos if you need any help with any of this, I'm always willing to help. You can hit me on Twitter, at Shane's Cows, or over boldzebras.com, where I can help you do this in your production environment or any other type of consulting engagement. So thanks, and have a great day.